last uh, six months before I got some problem with my heart. So my heart was very weak. So I went so many doctors to see my heart condition. So all the doctors have different uh, things and also I came to Mr. Dr. Amal in Canadian hospital in Dubai. So he told me to, I will do your surgery with the ampulla because your heart is very weak. My name is Sayyid Anambur Rahman and I am working with Emirates Airlines. So I came to Mr. Dr. Amal in Canadian hospital in Dubai. So he told me to, I will do your surgery with the ampulla because your heart is very weak. One day before he called me in hospital and he explained me very nicely. So I came yesterday to him and he did my surgery and success, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, I am in, sitting in front of you. I said, Dr. Amal, I have no what to say, but he did very good job with me. Patients who had bypass operations can still develop blockages later on in their lives. This can happen in two ways. They can develop blockages in the bypass grafts themselves, or sometimes the blockages in their own arteries treated by the bypass gets worse. This situation is extremely difficult to treat as a second operation becomes much more riskier than the first one and also very technically challenging for the surgeon. In such cases, we often do angioplasty and stenting, but once again, this also turns out to be a high-risk procedure, especially in someone whose heart function is already very poor. In these patients, impeller heart pump becomes very handy because it essentially takes over the heart function and the circulation during the procedure, thereby allowing us to perform the angioplasty and stenting procedure safely. This particular patient already had bypass surgery about six, seven years ago, but at that time his heart function was already weak and his bypass surgery was not that successful. But now he continues to have chest pain and he was hardly able to walk two yards before he develops breathlessness. So we performed another angiogram only to find out that all his bypass grafts have failed and his blockages are much more severe than what it was seven years ago. He was essentially living on one single blood vessel that was supplying his entire heart and again this had more than 90% blockages. So this is an extremely high risk procedure when you treat these patients with angioplasty or stenting as the artery can shut down or sometimes even the heart can stop during this procedure. In such situation, impeller heart pump proves to be extremely useful and we were able to perform this procedure successfully in this patient without compromising his circulation and without any complication. The patient was shifted to ICU, he stayed in ICU one day and the second day he was mobilized and the patient went home walking and now he's living comfortably without any breathlessness. Here at the Canadian Specialist Hospital, we do perform such high-risk procedures on a regular basis. In patients with very poor heart function, by using the impeller heart pump, both the short-term as well as the long-term heart pumps would be much better. I'm Dr. Amal Lewis, consultant interventional cardiologist, and you can visit me anytime at the Canadian Specialist Hospital. Thank you. I don't have what to say about him, but everybody, I will ask, ask to my colleagues and friends, if they got any problem, any, any health issue, please come to Canadian Specialist Hospital and they will solve your problem very nicely. Keeping you well. Canadian Specialist Hospital. Abu Hail Dira, Dubai.